If your commute takes you along I-77, you have no doubt been slowed by the $90 million rebuild and expansion of the interstate south of Rockside Road. The project will not be completed until fall next year. Until then, lane adjustments, ramp closures and delays will be the norm. But today there were blown tires, damaged front ends, and probably some choice words from behind the steering wheel, too, along a stretch of that interstate. Tonight, as you can see, what happened is causing major backups. News Channel 5's Ted Cortan tells us how it all happened. $9,000 is the estimated damage to this 2008 Lincoln SUV after colliding with an airborne manhole cover on I-77 this morning. It happened in this construction zone in Independence, where northbound traffic is temporarily squeezed onto two lanes and using the center berm. Because the traveling public is traveling on the shoulders where the holes are located, they're vibrating, causing them to pop off, eliminate all safety hazards, we close down the lane, we fix the problem, safety hazard gone. Indeed, this afternoon, ODOT's contractor closed off the berm lane and is completely removing the manholes and covers, then cementing over the hazardous areas. One of our main initiatives is to eliminate all safety hazards. That is our way of eliminating the safety hazard and making the motoring public safe. Still, this comes after Independence Police took five separate reports of damage to vehicles. The driver of that SUV understandably shaken. She declined to go on camera but told me had the manhole cover been just a few inches higher, it could have bounced up through her windshield. ODOT tells me the work to cement over and secure all the manholes in the area where this incident occurred should be completed tonight, although there will be delays during the evening rush. They also say they're checking the whole length of this six-and-a-half-mile project for more manholes and hazards. On your side reporting from the Broadview Heights Independence border, I'm Ted Cortan, News Channel 5.